Imagine, you are enjoying a nice meal at a new restaurant with your friends. Everyone is having a great time. The food is excellent and the company even better. But suddenly, you notice something alarming. You look over at the table beside you. The person at the table is struggling to breathe. They are having an allergic reaction. They are suffering from anaphylaxis. Would you know what to do? Anaphylaxis is a serious life-threatening allergic reaction. The most common anaphylactic reactions are to food, insects, things, and medications. If you are allergic to something, your immune system will overreact to the food you are allergic to by releasing different chemicals that cause allergy symptoms. These allergy symptoms include difficulty breathing or swallowing, closed airway, hives, and in severe cases, anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis requires immediate medical treatment, including an injection of medication called epinephrine and a trip to the emergency room. If left untreated, it can be fatal. According to the Canadian Anaphylaxis Initiative website, an estimated 2.5 million Canadians currently live with anaphylaxis. It is most prevalent in children under three years of age. And the most recognized allergy, of course, is the one to peanuts. So going back to the restaurant scenario where you are witnessing someone having a severe allergic reaction, what do you do? How do you help? During an anaphylactic attack, people are given a medication called epinephrine. Epinephrine is also known as adrenaline and it reduces your body's allergic response. So the first thing you can do to help the person is confirm if they have an EpiPen. What is an EpiPen, you ask? An EpiPen is a device that contains a single dose of epinephrine. How does the EpiPen work in doing this? Well, when injected with epinephrine or adrenaline, the muscles in your airway relax to help you breathe. Your blood pressure starts to regulate and your stomach muscles relax. So how do you use an EpiPen? First, Prior to using the EpiPen, confirm they are having an allergic reaction by checking for the following. Pale, clammy skin, weak or rapid pulse, trouble breathing or swallowing, and loss of consciousness. If you see these signs, you need to administer the EpiPen device immediately. First, you want to inspect the EpiPen to ensure it has not expired, because if it has, it will not be as effective. You will see the expiry date here in the black. Next, and for the purpose of this presentation, I'm actually going to be using the training device. Next, you want to hold the EpiPen with the blue cap pointing upwards and the orange tip pointing downwards. You're going to pull the blue cap straight up. Don't twist or turn it. You don't have to worry about clothing as the EpiPen will still work. So what you want to do and I'm just going to use a pillow, so this would be someone's thigh in case of an emergency, you want to swing the EpiPen forcefully toward the leg with the orange cap directly into the thigh. You will hear a clicking sound. This means the needle has injected the epinephrine into your muscle. You need to hold the orange tip to your thigh for at least three seconds to make sure all the medication has entered the muscle. Use the same steps if you ever need to use it on yourself. And another tip, to ensure the patient doesn't move, firmly step on their toes to prevent their leg from reacting to the force of the injection. If symptoms continue or get worse, you can administer a second EpiPen 15 minutes after the first. Regardless of whether you use the EpiPen, you need to head to emergency to be seen by a doctor immediately. Never use more than two EpiPens. After use, you can take a plastic bag with a seal, put the used EpiPen into the bag, seal it, and bring it to the hospital with you where they can inspect it and dispose of it for you. Always make sure to carry your EpiPen with you. You never know when you will need it. And remember, blue to the sky, Orange to the thigh. Thank you.